And we could not have a better day for the 45th Axe of Liberty Bowl. From Memphis, one of only three bowls that match conference champions this year. Southern Miss, undefeated winners of Conference USA, going for their 10th win. 25th ranked Utah, only one loss year in taking the Mountain West Conference 2003 title. Utah has won the toss. They defer. And the nation's number four kick returner, John Eubanks, is deep for Southern Miss. Brian Borson has our game underway, and from the one-yard line, Eubanks averages 30 per return. They have him bottled up inside the 15, and Southern Miss finally settled on Dustin Allman, and from that point, they were a different team. To clean up his off-the-field out. kicking team, five-yard penalty. Early in the Ron McBride era. Their first outright conference title since 57. And Eubanks returns this one way past where he would have been. Breaks one tackle. Big key to their season, moving Harris from fullback to the feature back spot. And another big move was Chris White moving from the left guard to the left tackle spot. Not the biggest guy in the world, but marvelous quickness and feet. Golden Eagles with a play fake on first down and Allman throwing incomplete. And up front, they feature first team all Mountain West selection, defensive end Josh Savage from Salt Lake City. And in the middle, the linebacker spot, Ray Holcraft. Urban Meyer says, you're not supposed to have favorite players. I got one. It's Holcraft. Scally, one of the keys to their defense, played at BYU five days after knee surgery. Academic All-America. All on second ten of the first running play. Anthony Harris tries to stretch the defense, cut back, and barely makes the line of scrimmage. Conference and defense for the last five years. And today the red line shows where third down starts, yellow line where they have to get. No chance here as breaking off the pattern, Kenneth Johnson is a good 10 yards away. They feel they finally have straightened out. But they almost get this one, and it's a shank out of bounds near midfield. Because Nagahi almost took it off his foot. They're going to call holding the Southern Miss 43. Better effort. There's Warren on a hop and out of bounds at the 29 yard line. Alex Smith is the nephew of Michigan State head coach John L. Smith. Thought about playing for him at Louisville, but Uncle John said, Well, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be at Louisville. He will barely be 20 years of age when he starts working on his MBA, his last two years of eligibility. And right to the air out of the shotgun, and it's caught at the 37-yard line. Watch number eight, Ben Moa. You will see him literally all over the field. He lines up at tight end. Ben Moa will be somebody to watch wherever he lines up. Tight end, running back, motion here. And the give on the ground is to Brandon Warfield, the one Southern Miss thought they had signed up. Thomas Harrion, Fort Worth, Texas, originally signed with Southern Miss. His mom refused to sign that letter of intent. He really wanted to go to Utah, he says, all along. And the Southern Miss defense up front, Rod Davis, now has more tackles than anybody in Southern Miss history. He came in tied for that all-time record. Over the middle, and at the 45-yard line, Travis LaTondres. And Rod Davis, who the best player is on defense, he'll say, I stole it from Bowley. Bowley's our best linebacker. Rod Davis showing characteristic humility, but he thinks Bowley's a better pass rusher and maybe a little better athlete than he is. Pruitt and Brooks, both first team all-conference. Second out and five for the Utes on their first possession. And a fake out of the gun and looking long, deep overthrown, intended for Moa. First time they try and hook up with him. Obviously doesn't hurt him on the field. Third down and five, Utah. They go empty backfield. And Smith bobbles the snap. Still loose at the Golden Eagles. Recover at the 35 of Utah. First break is a huge one for the Golden Eagles. 36 of the use they take over. And they go Harris on the ground, breaks one tackle, breaks two. Almost with a first down. Other positions open on the offense. They said, we have got to help our defense. Our defense can't win every single game for us. 
This is the fullback, redshirt freshman Wayne Hardy. Good tackle by the D line. High and two tight ends on third and two. And they will come close. Harris. This will be a 47 yard field goal drive. Kick by Darren McCaleb has no chance. He had only missed two all year. They were both blocked. So they carry that sentiment with them into this Axel Liberty Bowl. Brandon Warfield barely passed the line of scrimmage. Felix High, also a famous alum, Bill Walton in the San Diego area. This pass deflected, still caught for a short game at the 33-yard line. But a third and seven. They blitz Smith, they got him inside the 25-yard line, and not much problem. Let's see if we get something fun. One man left of the center, Matt Kovakovic, gets off a sideways bounce, and Southern Miss got a great field position to work with, with Heather Cox, Avon Ed, Bill Curry, 726 of the first scoreless. And Allman, after the play fake, decides to keep plenty of room. Dustin Allman out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Back to Anthony Harris with a good push on first down to the 29. Sacks a big problem early for Utah. The miss trying to establish a running game, although no gain here. Harris is stuffed. So let's check into the studio. It's showing perhaps a secondary blitz. Almond checks to the short drop. And incomplete, and even if Almond and the gun on fourth and four, Utah with the blitz. Pass way behind Young. So the Utes 70 yards away. If you went in motion, Smith. And a game of about three. <laughs> the last couple of years. He is a nominee for the Frank Royals Award for top assistant in the country. Warfield with some room. Warfield near midfield with a first down for Utah and a gain of 16 yards. We still tend to think of Mount West teams, mobile whack teams as pass, pass, pass all the time. Not true here. Warfield, another big hole and another first down. Here comes the flag from way. Blocking that time, Kimi Atu got the best of it. Spot. Still first down. By far their best scoring quarter is the fourth. Moa went in motion. They shovel it underneath to him. A couple of tackles gets to the 46. We take it down 13, gain of seven by Moa. He went around everywhere. He was in motion. Smith. The scramble now looks up, just throws it away. Hard third and 13. They need the 41 of Southern Miss. Southern Miss has one player in a three point stance. And sacked again at the 38 yard line. Ronald Jones is fifth of the year. Trying to make him think. Kabakovich gets off a big one. And Marvin Young, fair card. After the good punt from the 13, and a marker down. As Marvin Young goes into round and picks up about five. Offsides, moving before the ball snap. So first and five, Evan, as he tries to turn it up, knocked off his feet. Final minute 20 of the first quarter. running out of time and room and then turns it up and out of bounds near the first down on third and a foot give to the fullback Wayne Hardy and Hardy across that yellow line for the first down and Allman all day on the play fake finally a strike Hardy again and to the 30 keeping good cohesiveness and good chemistry on the offensive side of the ball when they were going through the hard time. We're to see defense in a bowl. We're seeing at a total of 65 yards combined by Southern Miss and Utah in the first quarter of the AXA Liberty Bowl. No, but we were earnest. So the second quarter starts. Allman incomplete. Kyle Whittingham took the worst of that. Defensive coordinator. Allman on third down. Another one too tall. Incomplete. Off the end of Anthony.
it in key runs. And we'll try again. Into the win. And a good one. Chasing Warren back to his 26 yard line. Warren fights hard for a return of five. He Holy almost got a piece offense. of it. 10 yards from the previous spot. Still fourth down. Yeah, at the other end of the field, the target's going with the win. It's another really good effort. And inside the 30 war. First down misses, Paris Warren near midfield, the 47-yard line, and in much better field position. They're on 48-yard line. They motion Moa. And get to Warfield, and he's cut down by Terrell Paul. Warfield in the room around the left side, and Brandon Warfield out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Chad Ruffin still trying to figure out where did that come from. First down from the Southern Miss 36, and Smith can keep for big yardage. Yep, he'll keep it up for the first. I continue with the 26 of the Golden Eagles. They get Moe went in motion. Smith keeping. And out of one broken tackle, they finally have him at the 18. Smith has thrown key. He gets 15 touchdowns, tied for the best ratio in the country with Texas's chance mock before the goal. As Warfield pushing the pile near the 10. Not quite first and goal. It's first and 10 just outside the 10. They go Paris Warren in motion. And Warfield for a loss into the 14-yard line. After the scoreless acts of Liberty Bowl that the youth with the best threat either team has enjoyed so far. Warfield trying to stretch back toward the 10 and a marker is down. That is not very much. Five wides and under pressure, under thrown, intended for Travis LaTondras at incomplete. And the best way to win football games is to pe keep people out of your end zone. Ryan Morrison for 29 yards and the lead and a problem on the snap. And finally stopped back at the 31-yard line by Antoine Cash. Get over there and get some snaps on the sideline. Get yourself back together. That's all you can do. That's what it would make him. Very good, Bruce. Complete breaking tackles. Extra yardage to Ron Lawrence. His first catch goes for 16 yards. Lawrence, former walk-on. Eight to Young, gunning deep, almost intercepted, and it out of the hands. One of their biggest plays of the year, an 80-yard fumble return with a minute 33 to go to win the game against Colorado State, 28-21. Another carry for Wayne Hardy for the first time all year. Almond, which picked up, fires complete, and then dropped it, it's incomplete. Almost well, Luke Johnson got way too much. It's a lot of fun. Man. Yeah. I would be remiss not to ask you, am I ever going to find another love like you? <laughs> you will never find <laughs> as long as you live. Soul man. One of his hits, Sam and Dave. Warfield and bottled up in Honolulu. Here we have 115 yards total combined. No points. Alex Smith on the roll. Incomplete. So the miss coming after Kavakovich. They don't get to him, but Utah will get a nice bounce out of this one and a roll inside the 30. Finally dead around the 27. Southern miss from their 27-yard line. 6.51 to go in the second quarter. Looking for Rib Anthony Harris. When they have had to go to the air, absolutely nothing. They hadn't played football in a long time. There's a completion, and Marvin Young hit in his tracks at the 30. Not great during the year on third downs. Really bad today. Just one out of six, 34%. Their yearly figure converted third. All the chase by team. Ball is loose, wasn't a pass. 
No, fumble recovery by Utah at the 17-yard line, Lewis Powell. Just relentless in pursuit. And it was a delayed blitz. Which... Hardly a guarantee the way these defenses have played. Reverse. And room for Steve Savoy. Fights his way near the five. No more timeouts for the Utes. As Smith comes up under center. It's Moa in motion. It's the real key with a cutback. He still keeps his feet going for a touchdown. That's just great running by Brandon Warfield and some no, more fine blocking by Ben Moa. He'll have to tackle just a return and run in the end zone. Extra point by Boris and Good. 7 0 Utes. And missed two of their last three because of knee surgery. He insisted on playing against BYU. Been called offsides for the kickoff, but oh, this time the receiving team was offside. Wilson with a low bouncer. They're just not going to give him one to return. On the five yard scoring run by Brandon Worthy, a four and a half minutes to go in the first half of the Axe of Liberty Bowl in Memphis. Best pass yet, perhaps, by Allman and a first down catch. Back to the ground game with Anthony Harris. To do that, they're going to have to beat Arnold Parker, number 17, if they throw it to the wideout. Going to be close. Wayne Hardy gets another carry. Offsides defense. Allman. On play action, running out of room and runs out of the tackle. Finally tripped up at the line of scrimmage. Fred's been trying to hire a coach. Maybe he's found him. No, I don't think so. Allman on second down to 10. Almost intercepted right in the hands. They give him a lot of credit for turning around their season with a speech in the locker room at Texas A&M. That was still a loss early in the season, but set their minds right for the rest of the year. Another flag down incomplete for Young. Another offside defense. It's picked up. All terrible pass. Kenneth Johnson. The window is wide open. It's hard to see what Almond's looking at. Very low kick by Johnson. Returnable. Warren get a block, he can't. And driven back from the 16-yard line. Back. So the Utes up 7-0 from their 15 with time to add to it. A minute 44 in the half. Not with plays like that, however. And a minute left in the half. Second and 13. Smith with the shovel. Oh, so much for the surprise element. Michael Bowley with the hit of the day. The board by Brandon Warfield. That's exactly what Southern Mississippi is doing. That is a form tackle. So there was one timeout. If they can stop Utah on a third and 11, they might have a chance to end the half by getting on the board. Utah stays very conservative as Warfield gets only to the 20, and it'll be. They come after Kovacovic and block it. Return and fumbled at the 48 yard line. Also, there's a marker back at the line of scrimmage. Galley picks up that block punt. It's going to be holding Utah. Enough. Now, running from his own end zone and getting it off is Kavakovic. Marvin Young, dangerous return man. Another flag is down, and Young retreats and loses all the way back to midfield. Holding. Wow. Against the receiving team. Maybe a Hail Mary of some yep. sort. Good. Big ball that can get it off. And he has to throw it away. This time, two receivers left side, one right. Maybe the last play of the half. Almond throws short to Harris at midfield. Well, here's a change of pace. 
77 total yards for the Utes. They lead 64 total yards, 65 officially now for Southern Miss. Seven to nothing for Urban Meyer's Utes. And went downhill from there. Yep. Matt Locke. Driving that one. Keeping all the way. The middle for a first down is Alex Smith. This probably has uh, an eerie similarity for a Southern Miss fan to the Alabama game, and that's not a pleasant memory for them. Smith play fake. Hoisting one deep, single coverage. Great adjustment, and it is caught by Savoy. 16 yards per catch, seven touchdowns. Both best on the Utah offense this year. Back to the air and overthrown intended for Paris Warren. Motion from Moa and whistles. For the snap, ball start. Offense, five yards in the previous spot. Still second down. Six in a row coming in. Major struggles today. Warfield plowed under by Rod Davis. He through the A-gap between the guard and center for another loss. So third and 21. And again, whistles and play. For the snap, full start offense. Five yards from the previous spot. He stayed his final year. January 4th, he heads to Florida to train for the Senior Bowl and see what happens with the NFL draft. Another flag. As the throw on the run is caught inside the 30 by Warren. For 60 yards. Holding offense. 10 yards, previous spot, still third down. From their 46 to the 18, if they can, and they go conservative to Warfield. He's down at the 47. Not a front block in the first half. But booms this one into the end zone. Southern Miss has 64 total yards as they start from their 20. Almond on the roll. And incomplete. Rich Shear, head coach here at Memphis. 1994 through 2000. This used to be his home field. Harris knocked back for a loss. From Bolton. Allman running out of time. And a flag down as he drives that one straight into the grass in front of him. Utah signaling they also come up with the ball as Marquez Ledbetter leads the charge for the Utes, and they do. But a marker. There is no foul on the play. By Kyle Whittingham here with a stunt up front. The tackle slips to the outside. Number 55, Marquez Ledbetter loops up in the middle, comes in. Untouched into the quarterback's face, and the ball goes on the ground. Oh, what that really looked like intentional ground. It, it did. We'll do about it now. 18 of Southern Miss Utah takes over. Problem on the snap. Big loss. Another flag. Don't be celebrating. Finally, Big Ten uh, breaking through with the win. Smith option. Warfield chased out. Couldn't get away from Michael Bowie. Third and 21. And Smith sacked by Bullwood. Second in Conference USA with 10. Avakovic trying to hang this one inside the 15. Young returns. Again, the Utes do nothing with the break. And again, Southern Miss will try to get something, anything established on the offensive side of the ball and they now go to Tim Blackwell midway through the third quarter looking at a shutout. So they change running backs. They find a high hand. They get another sack instead. Yeah, this is a strong safety blitz. Just a strong safety rubber coming from his right side. Third and 14 are coming after him again, but there are whistles this time. Like play a game. Or he Offense, goes to... Five yards to the previous spot. Still third down. Had not been a factor at all in the six-game win streak for Southern Miss. Two in those six games. Two already today. On the deep end, incomplete. For Southern Mississippi. They almost get Luke Johnson's punt. Warren will make sure the youth start to Utah to try to put it up against this man coverage. It's a good field position. 49 of the Golden Eagles. 
Smith deep for Savory in single coverage and incomplete. Hurt than anyone they've ever had. First team All Conference USA headed to the Senior Bowl. And they change quarterbacks. Fred Elliott had been warming up. That led eventually to a kidney transplant at the end of his playing career. Now helping out as an assistant on the defensive side of the ball. Another deep shot for Savoy incomplete. I now he knows that he didn't give up, and seeing Zoe's decision helps to validate his own. A good punt by Tabakovich, fair caught by Young. Deep on their own end, their own 12 as they start with 5.32 to go third quarter. And Allman on the option pitch. This is Blackwell again. He came in for the first time on the last series. Second and two. Before. False start. Offense. Five yards to the previous spot. I cannot. Six of the 20 drives for both teams combined have netted zero yards. Southern Miss's longest drive has gone 23 yards. All but again hit as he gets rid of it. Corey Dodds. So third down on the line again to 23. Allman at last has some time and overthrows his man over the middle, Currington. But with how little Allman is getting done, why not go to somebody else? Good deep kick here by Johnson. And Warren dragged down with the ball loose and still loose at the 32 before Utah recovers it on its way out of bounds. Break BYU's all-time record, 361 games scoring streak. Warfield through the middle. And a whole lot more impressive for the Utes, 114 total. Way back inside the 15, Smith chases this snap. They run Warfield inside. Season. Took it 60 degrees and perfect today. Can't blame this one on the weather. Tabakovich low cut. Big return possibility here for Young. One of the best in the country. Split it apart. I think they ought to take the penalty and make them kick it Offense. again. That penalty is declined. First down. He's got great respect for each other. We were just up in the stands. I was talking to your mom. She called you the hero of the family. Do you feel that way? I try not, I try not to think about it. Swing screen to Tim Blackwell, number 23, who's kind of lit up this field. 12 yards. Allman with the option pitch. I wouldn't swear that wasn't forward. Blackwell set out all of last year. Again, pressure comes on Allman, and again, he is dead to scratch. Ray Holcraft. Another in an interminable series, it seems like, of third and long. 15 in this case, they blitz all, but again, he throws it away for dear life. And a late flag. About a quarterback Personal change. Personal foul, offense, 15 yards, previous spot. It will be fourth down. Here, here we are. Let's see if we can see what happens here. No Naga, he's clean there, and Allman just kicks at oh, wow. Baluha. Can't do that. At that point, the you have to pull. Angelo has kept his head in the football game and in the team. Allman is 7 for 23 for 49 yards. You should be thinking about pulling him regardless. And Warren almost turns it over at the 11-yard line. That's, that should be the last we see of Dustin Allman today. Maybe it will be. 104 to go third quarter. Warfield get him a little breathing room he gets about two yards he's warming up though and it's just something you have to do is we're all human beings and Dustin Almond's having a tough day there's no way anybody could do worse not that you put it all on him obviously not all his fault and maybe a new quarter will bring a new quarterback for Southern Miss they still have nothing on the board and trail the Axe of Liberty Bowl seven to nothing You have a third and seven from their own 14. Time for Smith. He's going to keep. He's got a world of room. And a first down to the 30. The second leading rusher on the season. 410, five touchdowns coming in. Warfield. Not a profit. 
And he called this, and he called some other bowl games. He said, we see all these high-scoring bowl games. That's about to end. The defenses are about to show up. Warfield. And the ankle tackle of Smith Keeping's been one of their best plays all day. Got on their last first down. This time looking to throw all the way. And it's complete over the middle. Number 46 is Paris Warren. See, this is what the Southern Miss defense has done to one of the better quarterbacks in the country. They start another possession with most of their second offense on this drive. And they have a second down and 10 after no game. Smith with the quick shot over the middle incomplete. A third and 10. And Smith throws an interception just his third of the year. Alex Ray with the pick for the Golden Eagles. This man took him into the route where the quarterback wanted to throw the ball. He shouldn't have even been there. D'Angelo is there. He has come in at quarterback. And Harris is back as the feature back. At not quite 500 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. And they go to him with absolutely nothing working on the offense. They average 334. That is not great. That's 92nd in the country. But it's not this. It's not this bad. 77 total. Over the middle and caught. And fighting for extra yards, Lawrence. He gets 12, and here comes a late flag. Daughter of head coach Jeff Bauer. Personal foul, offense. 15 yards from the end of the run. Son of Mississippi did make a first down, so it will be a first and 10. It's Ron Lawrence across the middle. Next, really nice catch. Hangs on to the football. Taken on the ground by Revel. Then he reaches up and pops him with his right hand. They came up with yet another way to um, short circuit themselves. Back to the 31. D'Angelo for Young and complete. And another flag. Holding defense. 10 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Total now of 11 penalties. First down, 41. Harris looks for a cutback alley. Looks about seven or eight. Near midfield. Without allowing a point, better than 145 minutes. Snap, ball start off. Five yards from the previous spot. Still second down. There are some that, for whatever reason, seem to lose whatever edge they end of the regular season here. The Angelo hit as he gets back and off incomplete. Utah in 94 beat Arizona in the Freedom Bowl to finish 10 and 2, and number eight in the country that time. Both offenses are so terribly rattled. Chris White. Ball start, offense. Five yards to the previous spot. Still third down. That's. Four man rush and batted down to the line of scrimmage by Josh Savage. Just to look at this kind of football. Savage overpowering Chris White that time. Here's the punt by Johnson to Warren. Backs up. Passes up the fair catch and a flag. He's drawing the fouls. See him go in motion, see him in the backfield, see him flex out wide. Smith keeping, mostly. Going what we've seen Ben Moa do is completely turn what he does not carry or any of the other vestiges of that previous life. He has completely turned things positive for him, for his wife. And they need three yards here to avoid picking it from near their own goal line. Go down. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. Pretty good kick. Marvin Young, fair catches it. This is the second Liberty Bowl ever for Utah. 1964, they played in the Liberty Bowl game plate in Atlantic City before it moved finally here to Memphis. And that game over West Virginia. Mickey D'Angelo in for his second series and barely avoids this sack. The big linemen are frustrated. They can come off the ball and hit somebody at worst. Passing look with three wides, but they run Harris. Warm out there. He turns it up and look up. Harris tripped up inside the 20 by far the biggest play of the day for Southern Miss. Again, this league has won five of the last six Liberty Bowl matchups. Conference USA versus Mountain West champions. Anthony Harris turned back. 
the touchdowns only 60 percent. So those those stats sort of match up. Second and 12. Got that big run out of the passing look. They throw this time. Inside the 15 goes Currington, and two tight ends in the eye. Wayne Hardy is the fullback. Harris looks for the corner, can't get there. He's turned back by Parker. So fourth and two after the second timeout taken by Southern Miss. Needing a touchdown to tie, D'Angelo in the shotgun. And the roll. At the 22. Never a prayer. Dave Revel on the safety blitz. You gotta throw the football. So Utah ball at the 21 with 549. You'd say 549 to run out, but no possession has lasted anywhere near that long. Deep middle for Warren. Caught. Harris Warren to the 30. Strong response after he threw just his third interception all season. They to Warfield keeping. Lots of room. To the 15, 10 to the 5, and knocked out inside the 3. The third of the offense for the day on those last two snaps for the Utes. First and goal with the 3. Mower in motion. And Warfield just shy. Second and goal from the 1. With the offset eye. Warfield, and this time hit behind the line. And they mark him for a loss probably around the two. For the offense, inside the 20. From just inside the two here. After the fifth, wide open, drops! Oh, that was a game clincher. Orson for 19 yards from that angle. This time, good snap and hold, and kick. Brady Parkhurst in the first half had a very low snap. Kovacovic couldn't handle, no problems here. And Utah, 10 to nothing, 324 to go in Memphis. You want to win the game. We saw Allen rubbing his hands, maybe ready to come back in after the hit taken by D'Angelo at the end of the last possession. Jasper Falk on this return for the Golden Eagles. And back out. Dustin Allman. 7 of 23, 49 yards back in. Flags as they get the screen for some decent yardage to Tim Blackwell. Offside defense. That penalty is declined. The well, Eagles are simply nothing. Look at that list. You understand why they trail 10 to nothing despite the best efforts of their defense. All in plenty of time. A strike and their best pass of the day to Antoine Curry. Looking for the ground. 32 of Utah. Allman throws that one away. He can still maybe pull this thing out. Not impossible. Finally, a little something going on this drive. And another completion, making the first man miss. Extra yardage by Terrell Brook. So it reached the 21 of the Utes. Three wides, quick pass behind Antoine Currington to make sure that uh, all the tests that could possibly run by either offensive All unit. Offense, five yards from the previous spot. Still second down. Here for those coaches who still have jobs and even fewer today than yesterday. Alvin barely gets that one off. And here comes the flag. As expected. Flag after flag after flag since the opening kick. So on third and 23, the deep out is overthrown. Went for fourth and 23 now. Eight DBs for the Utes. Three-man rush. That needs plenty of time for all the to uncork it to the end zone. A flutter ball. And it comes down incomplete. It's all eight of those red jerseys are right around the ball. One Golden Eagle timeout. Warfield fumbles. 
Should have been an easy Southern Miss recovery. It finally is their ball at the 48-yard line. Here's an attempt to pick it up. I still didn't get to see who tried to pick it up. Travis Coley. Luckily for him, Southern Miss finally got it at the 48. And all the complete over the middle. That one's fumble. Recovered by Scully. Scully may take this one back. four-yard return. What a way to put it away for Utah. Setting the pace. 17 to nothing. Morgan Scally, an academic All-American, near four-point student who played at BYU five days after knee surgery. Looks like one of their best pass plays of the day to Broden if he just hangs on. 74 yards later, Morgan Scally and Utah would have a 17-0 lead. Very good one. Kick allowed to go out. 91 yards and a touchdown on 27 carries. Best on offense for the Utes. A little swing pass dropped by Blackwell. Smith just 8 of 19 through the air. From... Blackwell, right at the first down marker, the Mountain West Coach of the Year, the Sporting News National Coach of the Year. Another loose ball recovered by Utah. Think about that now. The... New defense now up over 157 minutes. We're going to finish... 2003. There he goes. He even got hurt. Today. Yeah, but luckily for Kyle, it's, it's not the usual 20 degrees in sleet right. in Memphis. Liberty time, it was a balmy 60. And a memorable win for the Utah defense. Just enough from their offense to shut out Southern Mississippi. 17 to nothing. A number 25 Utah has matched its best record ever. 10 wins and 2 losses.